So as promised, this is my other dry suit. Uh, this dry suit has neoprene wrist and neck seal. And my wrist seal is broken, it's ripped during kayaking, I guess. Uh, I haven't noticed it, so... But I have to repair it. I already rolled back the sleeve, so I could uh, access the seal easier. Those seals you can glue with a special kind of glue. And in the uh, shop they advised me to not open it by the um, cap, but uh, to punch a hole in the end. So later you can uh, close it off with tape because the cap doesn't uh, seal that good as uh, just tape. This way you prevent the glue won't dry in and after one repair you can't use it after a few weeks anymore. I use the mastic instead of my fingers or just to uh, squeeze it on the edge so I prevent a great big mess on my hands, on the table and everywhere. Uh, I also recommend using something um, between your surface and your neoprene that you're going to glue. So the special trick with this glue is to wait 2 to 5 minutes before you uh, put the edges together. In this way you make sure that the glue is already drying and becomes sticky and keeps the edges together when applied pressure. In the time I had to wait, I closed the tube with glue with some packaging tape. I hope this will do, but I will see next time. Now I had to wait a few minutes so I drank a glass of water and did some other stuff and returned to put push the edges together. When you have a seam where you think there's going to be a lot of, of uh, tension, you can add an uh, extra patch so it could hold the tension. I decided not to do it because this is going to wound the seal to my skin and I hope this will hold it. And uh, there are also other seams around this uh, rib. And I hope when it's gonna rip again, it's gonna step, stop at the seal, at the seams. So I hope this was uh, educational for you. And maybe I'm gonna upload uh, another video in a couple of days. Again on woodworking.